Swati Krupp. And just before we start the news today, just two quick things. Firstly, we'd like to invite you to download our app. It's for Android and for iOS. There are a few little bugs, but if you download it, I'm sure you'll really enjoy the experience of being able to discover our news quite simply. The other thing is that you can also help us just get all the bugs ironed out if you find anything. So that would really help us. The other thing is we've got a new forum starting. It's on the website only. The idea being that uh, if you want to comment, you'll be taken straight to a brand new forum page, which is much easier to follow, to navigate, and to keep your eye on important threads that you're involved in. So that's all coming in the next few days. Thanks for being involved in the Tiger. Time for the news. Swati Krupp and welcome to another outdoor edition. A shout out to Blake Johnson. Thank you for becoming a Tiger member. And starting today with Thailand's COVID tally, there's been 31 COVID related deaths and 1,919 new confirmed cases in the past 24 hours. The death rate a bit above last week's average, the new infection rate on par with the daily reports from the past two weeks. There's also been an entry ban extended to cover foreign travellers coming from Bangladesh, Pakistan and Nepal on top of the entry ban on travellers from India imposed last week. On the vaccine front, there are now 1.9 million people in Thailand vaccinated. Let's check out today's other main news stories. Once the COVID-19 outbreak is under control, Thailand will reinitiate travel bubble discussions with countries such as Vietnam, Singapore, Laos and Malaysia. Travel bubbles could start as soon as October if the daily COVID-19 count stabilises or significantly decreases by the end of this month. Thailand's tourism and sports minister, like just about everyone else, is calling for an acceleration of Thailand's vaccine rollout. He said that Thailand must achieve herd immunity by the fourth quarter this year. He also said that it's vital that the country get the current outbreak under control to regain international confidence. Previous talks of travel bubbles have been short-lived up to date, but both the Thai government and the hospitality industry are desperate to get some form of tourism underway at some stage soon. Police in northern Thailand have arrested three senior journalists who had fled from Myanmar due to orders from the military junta to stop reporting the current situation in the country. The journalists, along with two associates, were arrested yesterday in Chiang Mai for allegedly illegally entering Thailand. Police were doing a random search. More than 750 people have been killed by security forces since the February coup, and the country continues to suffer from almost daily clashes with ethnic armies who mostly support the anti-coup movement. The Foreign Correspondents Club of Thailand has released a statement calling on Thai authorities to release the journalists and offer them protection in Thailand. Part of the statement reads, these five individuals would face certain arrest and persecution, if not worse, for their work and association with the DVB and under no circumstances should they be deported back to Myanmar. Rather, the democratic voice of Burma journalists and their associates should be released from detention. The Foreign Correspondents Club says more than 70 journalists have been arrested since February. For their part, the Thai government says they're seeking a humanitarian solution. <coughs> Thai officials say expats living in Thailand will be included in the government's mass COVID-19 vaccination plan, but exactly when that will be is still up in the air with foreign embassies in Thailand clearly stating that they will not assist with providing citizens living overseas with vaccines, expats are relying on the Thai government. But a number of Americans are now urging the US government to provide COVID-19 vaccines to citizens living in Thailand. A COVID-19 vaccine task force of Democrats Abroad Thailand members, as well as those from American organisations based in Thailand, is calling on the US government to deliver vaccines to their citizens. They say Americans who live abroad need to be vaccinated for the same reasons that Americans who live in the United States need to be vaccinated, because it's the only way to stop COVID-19. For the vast majority of Americans in Thailand, flying back to the US is the only way to get vaccinated at the moment. 
The US Embassy in Bangkok, like most of the other foreign embassies, says vaccines will not be provided for their citizens living overseas. On that note, expats in Phuket, who have a valid work permit that was issued in Phuket, can now register for a state COVID-19 vaccine. The registration must be under the company name and expats are told to have the company's human resources staff assist with the registration process. You can do that from today. Our Tiger HR team are going through the process today. We'll keep you informed how that goes. The latest findings from a research firm that analyzes flight booking data confirms that vaccination is the key to rebooting international travel. The most recent research from Forward Keys shows that destinations prepared to welcome vaccinated tourists have seen a surge in bookings. In particular, Greece and Iceland have had a significant uptake in inbound flights, while countries where mass vaccination is at an advanced stage, such as Israel, the US and the UK, have seen outbound bookings climb. The key point is that the world travel and flight industries are looking to insist on proof of vaccination or vaccine passports for the right to go on an international flight or travel beyond their borders. Ford Keys says, Vaccinations appear to hold the key to reviving international travel as countries that make clear promises to welcome vaccinated travellers are being rewarded by strong surges in flight bookings. One insurgent has been killed and another two arrested after a clash with a ranger patrol in the Bacho district of Naratawat this morning. The district also borders Patani and Yala. Rangers raided a house about 5am following a tip-off that five members of a southern insurgent group were hiding there. Four men opened fire in an effort to escape. The gunfire lasted about 10 minutes before the police were able to lock down the scene. Malaysia has gone into full national lockdown amid the latest surge of COVID-19 infections, including highly contagious variants that are putting the Malaysian healthcare system under pressure. The Malaysian PM has announced a ban on social gatherings and interstate or inter-district travel. Schools and other educational institutions are shut, but some economic sectors can continue operating. The lockdown is in force until June the 7th, with the PM saying the presence of new and highly contagious variants that put pressure on the health system mean there's no other choice. Malaysia has seen a spike in infections and now reported 444,000 cases and 1,700 deaths. Yesterday, it reported nearly 4,000 new COVID infections. Well, that's another Thailand news today under our belt. Thank you very much for watching. You can also check out this video. Thank you very much for watching. And also don't forget to uh, download our app. It's on iOS and Android, also there. We do thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow.